Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Enemy here, bringing you my review for Eden Zero, Chapter 43. And I'm sorry this one's late, guys. Um, it was one of those things where I was, I was basically, I was doing my, I was doing my monthly shop, and even, even after that, even after that, I kind of, I decided to get, I decided to watch like the next episode of One Punch Man season two and Black Clover. But um, yeah. Um, anyway, with that said, like I said, this is me bringing you my the next review for Eden Zero. In zero chapter forty three, and it's it's one of those weird things where it's it's really been a while, but it's like yeah, it's it, it, I, I, it, like I said, with, with basically last week it really kind of threw me off. I, with basically Golden Week it really kind of threw my schedule off. Like as a reviewer, I've gotten I've gotten so used to like like the, the, this basically thing of uh, basically when uh, of, of basically when I, I basically do a review and whatnot. So every time that there's like a break with that, it's like ugh, damn, it throws me off. Like holy crap. Um, but anyway, with the, with the review itself, uh, so if, with this particular chapter, if there's anything I learned, I learned is how insignificant the, the spider as a character was to the six demon generals as a whole. I mean, don't get me wrong, when he, he was basically, he, he, he was basically, he was, he was definitely a threat in the last arc, but the thing with this chapter is that... It just brought such a hilarious perspective as, as to why Spider was even in the game to begin with. I mean, it wasn't for some glorious campaign in, in or it wasn't for some glorious campaign in, in in order to help Dragon Joe. He was just uh, he, he was basically just, just from just, he was basically just a, a, a pretty much code monkey that that wanted to that wanted to get get recognized as a legitimate part of the organization. Or in or in other words, or in other words, with, with Spider, what he wanted was notice me, Draken Joe Senpai. Notice me, Draken Draken Joe Senpai. Like that, like that. That's legitimately what what pretty much everything that that, 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 pretty much, that that pretty much Spider did in the last arc amounted to. Like he just wanted to get noticed. He wanted to get noticed by, by pretty much Draken Joe and and as a legitimate part of the organization. I'm like, dude, <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> And while I will admit it does, and like okay, I will admit it something like that it does kind of waste him as a character, but I, I definitely like the trade off of of seeing of see, of seeing just just how much of a legitimate threat that 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 from the 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 that that, 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 that that the actual heavy heavy hitters of the organization are, especially especially Seth that that like skull faced android that's dressed as a cowboy like woof like with Seth like he he's definitely he's definitely he. I mean, uh, with Seth, like uh, I guess he lives up to I guess he lives up to that appearance of dressing like a cowboy. Cause, damn, th cause damn Seth, he, he definitely has he, he definitely has quite the quick draw. And I'm like, I, I it was it was presented in such a way, of course, where where obviously it's it's anime, it's an it's like, it's like the old anime manga thing where where where, where we didn't e even even see him draw his weapon. He, he was he's just that fast. Like he, he we didn't even see him draw his weapon. He just he he flicked it out. Full trigger and then back in. It's like, di like, damn, dude. That, that I, I understand. The, the, I understand the whole concept of a quick draw, but damn, Seth, that's the, uh, that, that that's that's definitely impressive. Um, now, what? Uh, and one thing I liked about this chapter is that with with Drac and Joe's crew and whatnot is that Gilst is that, is that Gilst, believe it or not, it very briefly pops back up in the conversation between Drac and Joe and his men. And what I like specifically about this, with Gilles coming back into the conversation, is that it does build on the fact that that that, that with the that the chronophages have a lot more of an effect on the world as a whole than than, than pretty much just than than than, 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 than just pretty much than, 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 than just people the people and the planets that that, that that they pretty much consume. And in this case, it hurt Drac and Joe's business enough. It it just hurt her Drac and Joe's business just enough to where like to, to, to where to where Drac and Joe said okay. If if my business is hurting and I need money, well let's let's pretty much go after the Eden Zero crew. So 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 now just just so 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 basically because of what happened at Gilst, like what like like Drac and Joe is is now targeting Eden Zero, which and I, I definitely and it really and the, the and what I really like about this whole setup in general is, is how it really helps it makes the world feel a lot more connected as a whole. Like it, it just doesn't it, it's it do, it just doesn't feel like unlike. Like I, I hate to keep coming back to fairy tale because I have kind of learned that it is a lot more enjoyable than, than I first remember than I, what I remember it being. But um, but with fairy with.
but unlike unlike fairy tale, it, it it feels like it it it, it feels like it feels like Mushroom is, is kind of connecting is connecting everything in his world a lot better with Eden Zero almost, and he's he's making sure that that everything at least has at least has has basically an, an, an has an effect on on the world around it, as, especially when it comes to Chronophages for sure. Um. So yeah. Um. <sighs> wait and. And but yeah, and and we also get a, or, but yeah. Other than that, like with with basic, with with pretty much uh with Dragon Joe not not pretty much targeting. But but the thing with now the thing with Dragon Joe targeting the Eden Zero crew now, it makes me wonder if if he's really only only going to be uh is he's going to be like, like a main antagonist for, for pretty much this arc, or if he's or if he's going to be a, a recurring antagonist now? Because I I really don't want I I've really started to like I've really liked Dragon Joe from the very moment I I first. I, I we, that we first saw him and just just kind of getting to, just get getting to see his crew a lot more in this chapter, it makes me realize that the, yeah I I, almost, I want this guy to, I want this guy in order to be a recurring villain in the show so hopefully he is I just I don't want him to be like I don't want him to be just just, just like a villain for like for, for, for basically this arc or, or or whenever he confronts or or for for one arc or, or whenever he confronts like like Shiki and the crew I guess I, I want him to be like a recurring villain for sure or recurring rival or whatever. Um, we also get the huge reveal that 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 that, that the guildmaster of, of from shooting Starlight Noah is honestly, for lack of a better term, a black market dealer who sells information. And the the thing with the thing with Noah's introduction is that Mashima is building up is that Mashima is building up a lot of mystique around this guy is building up a lot of mystique around this guy. So that just kind of so that just kind of raises raises a whole lot more questions. Um, like. Like the the big thing, of course, is what exactly this guy's end game is, because because pretty much for, for, for basically all, all that we learned, every every kind of, every, all the background information that, that we learned about Noah in this in this chapter with, with with him him basically setting up with him basically possibly possibly setting up the kidnapping and especially like and especially um and especially, and what happened to to basically Ivory too, um. It it really feels like like Noah is purposefully helping. He is has, has been purposely helping helping Shiki even get to this point, but just the fact that he was also involved with the kidnapping incident also proves he, he does have malicious intent. So with this, it's the the one thing that comes to mind with with base, with what exi with what with with, with what. Per with what with what pretty much Noah is is doing right now as a character is that he he, he definitely has malicious intent, but he's playing it like, he's playing it like like a bit like like a little a little bit of a chess master like I think I think what Noah is doing right now is, is that he's helping Shiki in, in in order to in order to reassemble like 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 like, like pretty much the Demon King's crew like 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 the four star shines and and the full power of the Eden Zero and I think what what he's doing specifically is that he's helping. Is, is that he wants? Is that he? Is that he wants? A uh, is that he want, wants? Wants from? Is that he wants? Is that he wants to be led to the to basically mother? Like he's using, he, he's using, he's using Shiki as a means in order to, in order to find mother in order to find find mother for him, and because yeah, that that that's really the only thing I can think of right now is is that what what Noah wants is that he wants to find mother him is that he wants to find mother, but he he wants he wants he wants he wants he wants Shiki to, to pretty much do it in order to do it for him almost so yeah that's just kind of the vibe i'm getting from this so far um <clears throat> and with this chapter the eden zero crew are moving forward in their search for, for pretty much valkyrie towards towards pretty much a planet that that is stuck in time which is basically milled and the planet is, is basically milled 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 in and just from that little synopsis alone of, of basically Mildian being a planet stuck in time, there are definitely alarm bells going off in my head. Specifically, though, one thing that does pop out is that because that the, the Mildian is a planet stuck in time, obviously it would mean it's it's safe from, from, from basically a chronophage attack. But at the same time, it's a clear setup that that that, that we probably are going to are going to have are, are going to have have the chronophages. Are gonna have a return of the chronophages and and see them attack this this planet too. So it it makes me curious what type of role that they're gonna play in terms of the plot with this specific planet. I think the, the only thing I can think of is that is 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 that is that the characters themselves are still gonna be in danger, but but the planet itself is is basically gonna be safe because it is a planet stuck in time. So 
Yeah, and I, I yeah. So e- even though the planet is safe, I assume that that that, it, that if a chronophage does attack, it would still have an effect on the people. I imagine. Um, but I guess we just have to wait and see on that one for sure in order to in order to see where exactly that one goes. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Crunchyroll. Dead night of May. Signing off.